Um, folding a fitted sheet. So you're going to take it like this. No, don't listen and to you're gonna, him. No. And you're going to reach out really Stop. wide. No. And when you look up to the sky, with arms wide open, we'll start playing by Creed in the background. Really loud. And it's going to start raining in your bedroom. And once the sheet gets wet, you just <laughs> fold it really fast, and then it's perfect. And then you wake up, and uh, don't do that drug again. Scorpio seems fearless when it comes to intimacy. Potential lovers get the feeling that Venus and Scorpio will never stray, that they are intensely loyal to the one they love. They possess you and somehow make it seem attractive to be possessed. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Possess me, mommy. What does that actually say? Don't even get me started. Uh huh. Don't even get me started. Oh. On waiters who insist on taking your order by memory and then messing it up. <laughs> what are you trying to prove? What are you trying to prove? Okay, I get it. You want to come off as the slick waiter who knows the menu really well, who wants to be personable and have a fun conversation. I don't need no notepad, dude. I got this right here, okay? I trust this notepad points to head. Take, take your order. Oh, we have a table full of 12 people, all who have really specific orders and some have dietary restrictions. No problem. I'm just going to butcher it all back in the kitchen and then bring you some other shit and then ruin everyone's night. Now, listen, I'm not in any way, shape, or form <laughs> coming down on waiters who want to be good entertainers or personable because I've seen it done. But if you haven't gotten there yet, don't just fake it till you make it because it's going to make all of us suffer. And when we're all hungry and we get the wrong food, I'm not going to be happy and I'm not going to really care about your charm anymore because I'm not getting the calories that this needs to run, this, this train. Also, how hard would it have been to maybe just like take a couple notes? You don't need to write every single order down, but hey, if the guy with the curly hair is getting a weird salad, like a Pittsburgh salad, <laughs> just write that down. Just like a little note to help you. Okay? Curly hair, Pittsburgh salad. Fine. Anytime you're dealing with someone who's hungry, you have to, you're pleasing them at all costs, right? Okay? It's the same when, when, when you order food and it takes three hours to get there. Like, I could have done a three hour meal at home. <laughs> <laughs> like that's my city. I'm good at that. I came to you because you're quicker than that, and you make it faster and I and more convenient. I could have done a three hour meal at home. I don't. I I, I could have had. I could have had my wife ignore what I wanted to eat at home, <laughs> not you. Okay, I, I need you to listen to me. That's why I came to your establishment, sir. Please don't ignore me. <laughs> Julian. Don't even get me started on how much my wife ignores me. <laughs> Give me two Pittsburgh salads and write it down. <laughs> Look up at the I'm card. Thinking. Yeah, but you can read the writing through it. Well, you've never thought and looked up? <laughs> Julian, that's cheating. Uh, I'm not cheating. Okay. Um, is she alive? <laughs> Julian. Is it a girl? No. Is he alive? No. Oh, my God. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, keep going. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait, so he's dead, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Venus and Aries people flirt by being upfront, direct, and even daring. They try to win you over by expressing how enterprising and independent they are. Their style of expressing love can be maddening, maddeningly me-centered, but in the <laughs> but the right person for them will find this approach charming. <laughs> <laughs> and lovers. Short description. Courageous, brave, independent, not a fearful nature. He is attracted to sensual, erotic partners. Where did that come from? <laughs> what? Wait, what? We... <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. I'm attracted to sensual and erotic. erotic. Weaknesses. Excesses of pleasures of the flesh. Okay. Uh, KSS, though. I don't know where that came from. Mm. Sensual delights and sensuality. Difficulty letting go. Are we reading the... <laughs> Why did it just cut to like... Nervousness, impulsiveness, wastefulness, provoking nature, <laughs> restlessness, and changeability. <laughs> oh, my God. That is the T. <laughs> provoking nature. All I can think about is you when you think it's so funny to provoke Kermit. <laughs> provoking nature are you nature you'll be killing flies and Kermit will like bark because he doesn't like the way that you're moving and you go eh, bet, 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 bet. 
and you just do it harder. People with Sun and Aries are direct, straightforward, and uncomplicated. They expect the same from others and are baffled when they don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, Get some me. today. 20% off using our discount code. <laughs> also, guys, the skim. <laughs> the skim. Why did you look at me like that? Out of one eye, I the swear. Skim. Only one eye looked at me. How did you do that? You're like a newt. How did you do that with your eyes? I'm taking newt training classes. I'm trying to have my eyes be independent of each other. So that one can be reading the skim while the other one's uh, eating breakfast. Guys, the skim skim is... Make sure every single time you enter and exit a room, one thing gets done in that room. Even if it's the tiniest thing. Like you pick up a piece of trash and throw it out. Or if you walk into your your room where you do desk or your desk where you do homework. Really? Would you like to hear the Virgo version of that? Every time you walk into a room, it looks perfect and every time you walk out of a room you make sure you leave it the same way no, you that's found an ins- it that's an insane way to no live. it that's, isn't that is just not realistic guys <sighs> that, that's not pro- that's not procrastination though just I feel skip like a couple minutes the way They didn't accept me if I'm a freshman. No, you rushed the first semester. You're accepted the second semester. All right. I'm a second semester freshman. AKA a freshman (laughs) in college. You're just getting your bearings. Yeah. Kenny is awful cute, but he hasn't looked at you in a while. (laughs) Fuck. Okay. You have a crush on him. Uh Uh-huh. Do you not? Yeah. Kenny. Yeah. The guy with the the weird back. (laughs) That guy. I find that endearing. He likes you. <laughs> you just don't know it yet. Because when he looks at you and he sees your sorority sweatshirt and he looks up and he sees it's you, he's not sold yet. Uh-huh. But you're shy. Yeah, yeah. And I get that. Yeah. You know, some of your sisters can run around and grab all the men they need, mm. plucking them out of the school like a flowers in a garden. You can't do that. You're busy with your studies. That's right. Studies. Yeah. Go study right now. Okay. We'll finish this later. All right. I'll talk to you later. Now that we've gotten that far, uh-huh. where are you leaving? Why are you going? <laughs> <laughs> You're busy with your shit is mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just live your normal life, attend to your normal responsibilities as a college freshman in a sorority, and also be spitting game all, all, all the while? Yeah. You want to be spinning game, but it's a lot of energy and time to spit game. Yeah. You got to buy, you got to buy the magic sets. You got (laughs) to do the different things, the pre-production of all the different stunts and pranks you're going to pull on your loved ones that you think that they may, maybe they'll like you after you do all of what normal people do to attract their mate (laughs) until now. We have a solution. Oh, it is banned by 99 oh, universities God. in the United States, accepted by three so far, and yours just happens to be one of them that's it's banned by. And this where is no one knows we're talking. Okay. It's invisible. Uh-huh. Except for the guy you want. Kenny. He sees it. Kenny sees it. It is. A desire mask. <laughs> You put it on your face and anyone who you love will immediately reciprocate those feelings the moment he lays eyes on your invisible desire mask. Patent pending. We were on Shark Tank's audition that they kicked us out right away. No, they same kicked as you out? They kicked us out of the, as, as seen on the audition room kicked out of Shark Tank. Okay, it's form fitted to your face. Okay, yeah. all you have to do is we send you this pack. Uh-huh. Okay, it's got like putty in it. You slam your face into the putty. Uh-huh. It molds your face. Sometimes you suffocate. We've had three people die, but it's we've looked into it. <laughs> then you send back. It hardens as clay. Mm-hmm. It's an incredibly, incredibly delicate item. So it breaks nine out of ten times on the way back to us. <laughs> yeah. But on the on the chance that it comes back in one piece, we take a picture of it with our iPhone and then we draw our best version of it into a mask. Uh-huh. And then you just put it on. And. He loves you. If and you pass out, you pass me? out. Then he loves you. He what desires you. What if I take it off? Well, once the desiring has been done, he never saw the mask. It's, uh-huh. it's, it's again, patent pending. Uh, we're in the middle of a lawsuit. But, <laughs> um, well, 
basically the FBI. They're, we're basically getting <laughs> turned turn into the FBI. But and before we do, hold on. I, but, okay. It releases, it releases um, pheromones. pheromones into the air. Uh-huh. But very specific. Um, all you have to do is get a piece of his DNA. I forgot to tell you. You need his DNA first. <laughs> <laughs> you need a uh, like some blood or some hair, hair. Okay. yeah, maybe just like a piece of his, you know, Spit. skin or yeah, ha- yeah whatever. Piece just, of his skin, yeah, yeah, just like you know, rub, uh, or just like fish hook him and grab some of his saliva. <laughs> All things that you do in college, I'm sure, right? Those, yeah, I yeah, never yeah, went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's college? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I am. <laughs> you live happily ever after, uh-huh. and if he doesn't, then you uh, you won't be able to find us. We've been shut down by the FBI. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly scared. Can I sleep in your dorm room tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but the the end of the day, like I heard about Kenny, and I had to come here come down here and tell you about this. How did you hear about Kenny? Do you want to invest in this idea? We haven't even started anything yet. <laughs> I We're, don't have any I'm money. Not, I need, I'm not. I'm can you tell me why you're wanted by the FBI? I can't. Legally, I cannot. <laughs> why is that? Well, because if I tell you, um, you might be wanted to. Oh, okay. But we're just talking. I have nothing to do with I went it. to try to sell all of them the desire mask. <laughs> they didn't like it. Now I'm on their list. <laughs> Did you want them to desire you? No, I, want, I wanted... To you I, to desire them. Yeah. <laughs> didn't work. I tried to show... It's a way of manipulating your own feelings or other people's. That sounds fucked up. Yeah, no, it's it's horrible. Mm. I've made a bad change in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not proud of it. But do you want to buy? We have a deal. We have a deal. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to maybe something. Um, What's your username? Omegle is my pr- primary preferred form of <laughs> communication. Omegle, please tell them to text me on Omegle. Okay, yeah. Do they just log on and choose random chat and try yeah, and yeah, find you? Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> okay. I'll find them. Is it your face or your dick? The, um, uh, well, it's my face. <laughs> but, uh, that's an interesting business idea. I don't know. Maybe I'll consider it. Um, what? Um, I'll, I'll see you on Omegle. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's bookmarked on my browser. I'm inventing an app for Omegle. Do you want to be a beta tester? <laughs> What's the app for Omegle? It's basically just Omegle on your phone. <laughs> okay. Except... It's it's a zero instead of an O, so it's our own app now. <laughs> okay. We took we took all of this. Uh, I wore pants that had zippers at the knees. Oh hell yeah! And you could unzip the bottom leg of the pant, and then there were shorts. But what me would do would be unzip one leg. And think I'd be really cool. So you had one leg that was a short and one leg that was a pant, essentially. Yes. When you zipped off the leg, did where did you put it? In your pocket. <laughs>